In this video, we'll be discussing how to establish timings for tasks. This includes defining task duration and entering task start and finish dates. So in Microsoft Project, you can see I already have entered tasks for my project, which is arranging a party. And just to briefly explain, there's two types of modes which you can schedule that's automatic or manual which we'll be explaining in more detail in another video but just to show you the icons here all the summary tasks by default have appeared as automatic and the detailed task as manual scheduling what i'll do is i'll start entering the duration of the detailed tasks and this will automatically show up over here in the venue as it will be automatically scheduled. For the research and venue, I think that will take one day. So if I just click here, that will take one day. That will also take one day. Booking the venue will also take one day. Making the guest list will probably take one day. Um, writing the invitations, two days. Sending out invitations, one day. And then also there's different durations that you could put in. For example, you can put in, it possibly could take one week. So all I need to do is type in one W. Project will recognize that's one week. I could also put in, just for an example, one minute. One M, it will show as one minute. But just to undo that. Okay, so now I've entered the duration. I also want to start putting in the start date. So I'll do that by clicking here and selecting the start date. So on the 26th of July, and you can see already it's put a finish date because of the duration that we already set. So here, the start date is gonna be on the 27th of July and the book the booking the venue is on the 28th of July making a guest list if I select here that would be on the 29th of July writing the invitations that will be on the on actually on the 30th of July Sending out the invitations on the 1st of August. Okay, and you can see here that the project has started forming the bars for your Gantt chart. Alternatively, if you just want to double click on the task, you can enter the start and the finish date in the task information box.